Hello and welcome to the channel to Agree to Disagree. My name is Brendan and this is a TV review of Season 3 of American Horror Story, Bitchcraft. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed the first season. The second season, I not so much. I fizzled out three quarters of the way through the season. It really didn't, wasn't anything to me, really. First season, I loved it though. And I'm very excited to see that two of my favorite characters are back. Three of them, Jessica Lange, of course, is back. Uh, Thaisa, uh, I always mess up her name, Thaisa Farmiga, I, I forget her, I forget how to say it, but that's Zoe Benson, she was the main daughter in season one, and Evan Peters is back, of course, he was in every episode so far, and Evan Peters and Thaisa's character in season one had a love story and connection, and I really enjoyed that chemistry, and now it's back for season three, and I'm really excited, to, well, it appears to be back, I'm really excited to see where it goes. Now, after watching this first episode, I, eh. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, it came off too strong. It really did. And it was kind of weird. It, it, not weird in a good way. Like, season one was weird, but in a good way. This No. It, a lot of silly aspects, especially how Zoe Benson's character was kind of taken to this boarding school for witches. The four guys in suits. I... I, I wasn't a fan. I it, I really wasn't a fan. I don't know if it's just me. This show's got rave reviews, but season two was really a loss to me, and now season three appears to be going in the same direction. I'm going to keep watching and hope, because I do love witchcraft and the legends of witchcraft and the history of it, and they were touching upon history of witchcraft and showing some cool stuff. But this show... This episode just came off too strong, especially Jessica Lange's character. And she's like the superior, supreme witch. I, I, we don't know. There's not. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered. Of course, it is only episode one. I'm going to keep watching. But it was just something about it that I... It doesn't catch my heart like Walking Dead and Bates Motel and Lost. Like, it doesn't get my heart, this show. And I'm hoping it changes... Because there is a lot of good potential for this season. This is a very cool, potentially good story they could have going in premise. But it's just not there yet. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but the acting, as always, in American Horror Story is always fantastic. It was very good in this show again. This episode again. And I don't know. I don't know if it's the writing, the directing. There's just something about it that doesn't have me sold. I, am, am I crazy? I don't know, but it, it, it wasn't that good to me. It really didn't reach out to me. Um, there wasn't really much to say. This was kind of just a introductory to the story. It's going to be about these witches, these girls at this boarding school, and Emma Roberts is in it. Where the hell did she come from? I, all right, let's go, Emma Roberts. It was, but the this show is stacked with some good actors and actresses and I'm excited to see where it goes hopefully it's in the right direction right now it's in going the wrong direction for me but we'll see we'll see next week make sure you check in next week that's all I have really have to say uh let me know down below cuz I don't want to really spoil anything and I don't really there's really nothing much to get in detail about the acting was good the directing was good for what it was the story needs work writing needs work it needs to simmer down a little bit. It was too strong of an episode and too strong of a, of a character introduction. But we'll see. There was too much going on in this one episode. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, let me know down below what you think. Subscribe. Come back every week. I will let you know my thoughts for every American Horror Story episode. As long as it keeps my attention. Hopefully it does. Let's see if we agree to disagree.